Since conversations around the school and building expansion began over three years ago, the three letters ELC have brought a lot of feelings to the surface. Just hearing them now likely made you feel something. Throughout the process and still today, our goal remains to expand our building to meet the growing needs of our congregation. Throughout many conversations, we have appreciated hearing from so many members about how you are feeling and your diverse views around the need for expansion, the concern around the growing class sizes, and the best path forward as we work to deliver on our promise to be a place for all families at all stages in life to find God's love in Jesus here at St. Paul. Today, I wanted to provide an update with more clarity on that vote that passed, where we are today and what next steps are and what this means for us together at St. Paul. At the voters meeting on February 4th, our congregation approved expanding our building with a budget of $6 million. Not long after, I was asked to chair the new building committee. Serving with me are Erica Marty, Mindy Perry, Lisa Redu, and Jason Schmidt. Others, including some members of our church council and staff, are advisory. Our architect is Excel Engineering out of Fond du Lac, the same architect who designed our sanctuary. Moss Brothers of Watertown is our construction manager. They've completed many projects in our area and were the construction manager when we built our school here 20 years ago. We've been meeting with Excel and Moss Brothers every other week for the last two months. We're halfway through the final design process and want to show you where we're at. Here's the updated floor plan. At the center of the new expansion, is a new multi-purpose room. It will be used by all age levels and a big benefit of this new space is freeing up more gym time for our older kids in grades five to eight. We're also planning to equip the multi-purpose room to host presentations and classes for adults as we continue to expand our opportunities to support walks of faith across all generations here at St. Paul. The plan includes three preschool classrooms and four childcare rooms. By moving the preschool to the new classrooms, that will open up three existing classrooms to benefit our current grade school classes that continue to be blessed with enrollment highs. An additional seven classrooms could be added in the future. They were removed from the current plan to lower the total cost as we had to accommodate the amount of current commitments. We want the whole look and flow of this expansion to fit right in with the rest of our facility. Our church, our school, and this new expansion are all part of our one ministry of connecting people to Jesus. Check out the display across from the church cafe and take a copy of the floor plan to look at in more detail at home. Many of you have been asking what the current timeline looks like. The design will be submitted to the City of Lake Mills Plan Commission on April 16th so that it can be on their agenda for their May 28th commission meeting. You're welcome to attend that meeting to voice your support if you'd like. The tentative plan right now is to bid the project out in June, break ground in August, and enclose the shell before next winter. We plan to open the Center for Child Care, God willing, sometime in the second quarter of 2025 and move the preschool classrooms during the summer. This will allow us to utilize the three classrooms in the current building in our support of our K-8 needs for the 25-26 school year. For those asking what you can do as the vote to move forward keeps us progressing, first, say a prayer that God would bless not only the planning and construction of the building expansion, but that he would fill it with families who need Jesus Christ, their Savior, and ours. Second, Moss Brothers is asking us to connect with any members who are able to help provide materials or installation for construction. If you are an employee of a qualified subcontractor who would like to bid on the project, reach out to me and let me know that by the end of April. I'm making a list of everyone who might be interested. And if you're not a professional but have time and expertise, there will be opportunities for volunteers to help. Come talk to me about that too. Third, many of you made a three-year commitment in the capital campaign a year ago. Thank you very much. Your generosity is helping the ministry dream become a reality. Now that the project is moving forward, we are counting that three-year commitment window as 2024, 25, and 26. In other words, we're asking each of you to fulfill the commitment you made by the end of 2026. 
You'll see a new envelope in the envelope packet starting in May, or use the building commitment option if you give through push pay. And even if you didn't make an official commitment, you're welcome to use those same ways over the next three years to help make this happen financially. Further down the road, we'll be working on a wish list of items like cribs and other furnishings that you could help donate. And this summer, we need to dismantle the old playground and we'll need lots of help with that too. Once again, here are the members of the building committee. If God has equipped you in some way to help out with this project, or if you have any questions about the design or planning process, reach out to one of us. We would be happy to talk about it more with you as we remain committed to our mission, connecting to Christ, to each other, and to our community. Thank you and God bless.